In this video, I'll be using my 100 IQ to build 10 ultra-satisfying LEGO fidget toys. For the next 24 hours, I am on a mission to build the world's most satisfying LEGO fidgets. I plan on outdoing myself by making slinkies, fidget spinners, thumb chucks, and your guy's favorite, <gasps> infinite stress relievers. Yes. Oh my yes. God. I live with intense anxiety, so fidgeting helps me cope by calming my nerves. Plus, my obnoxious yes. fidgeting tends to stress other people out, which in turn makes me feel better. There's a lot of fidget toys out there in the world. At this point, I've pretty much seen them all, but I haven't seen many satisfying ones built out of Lego. Just kill me. That's why I started a whole series here on my channel where I build oddly satisfying Lego fidget toys. Today, I want to challenge myself to use my 100 IQ to achieve fidgeting fulfillment. But there's a few complications. It's hard to build fidget toys out of Lego because they keep falling apart. Tug a little here, tug a little there. Next thing you know, you've accidentally murdered a fidget toy. I'm trying to come up with some fidget toys that are a little more stable. So this is gonna take some creativity and all the brain power I can muster. With my 100 IQ, which is just a little bit below average, <laughs> this could be a success or it could be my ultimate failure. I'll let you be the judge. Huh? While I'm working on satisfying all your fidgeting needs, keep an eye out for these three little piggies and their chinny chin chins that are hidden throughout this video. Good luck. I do plan on relieving an infinite amount of your stresses today. But before we get to that, I'm gonna start off with some super simple Lego fidgets that you can build on a $1 budget. The first fidget is the simplest and yet probably the most satisfying fidget I've ever come across. You basically just snap these two pieces together and then you're just kinda... And then, you, and then you just kind of sway back and forth. It's hard to fully appreciate it through the camera, but there's like a little bit of clickiness going on. It's like a slight vibrato, if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, just take my word for it. It's way too satisfying. If you're really truly broke, and you're looking for something even simpler than that, I found this Lego piece that you can just open and close. Wow. This one's alright, it's kinda whatever. I added some dollar signs on top to make it more aesthetic, which I consider to be a major improvement. I'll show you guys this one's big brother later on. The big brother's a little more pricey, so I'll save him for later so you don't have a heart attack this early in the video. <laughs> I've made quite a few variations of fidget spinners in previous videos. Most of them always fall apart. But over the past couple months, I've been formulating the perfect Lego fidget spinner. Feast your eyes on this baby. It spins really well, works like a charm, except I ran into a problem. A design error makes it so that you have to hold it very gently. If you apply even the slightest bit of pressure on the ends, your world will stop spinning. Which isn't what you want, you want your fidget spinner to keep spinning. It's a good fidget spinner as long as you know how to be gentle and kind. For those of you who are not gentle souls, I've got a real satisfying fidget spinner made out of minifigures coming up later in this video, and I'm pretty confident it's gonna make your head spin. But before we get to that, feel free to feast your eyes on Dragon City. Lately I've been snapping up some Lego dragons. My collection is pretty modest right now, but in this game, Dragon City, you can build a whole empire. Collect dragons through offers or the breeding island, then hatch and evolve a whole dragon civilization. I tried to make a custom dragon out of Lego, but this is what I ended up with. But look at this dragon. You can fight other dragon masters to prove who's boss. You can meet other people, trade dragons, and even form an alliance. That's right. We can be allies, or... My dragon could devour your dragon. Your choice. I would choose carefully. There's so much to do. Tons of side quests, events, and mythical creatures you can find all around you, which pretty much ensures that your lust for adventure will always be satisfied. I've been exploring and running into all sorts of majestic dragons. Personally, I'm on the hunt for this little guy. He's on my most wanted list. To help you get started, here's a special bundle of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and a very rare fortune dragon. Check out Dragon City. Click my link or scan this QR code for a mythical experience. Thank you, Dragon. Dragon City for sponsoring this video. All this talk of dragons got me in the mood to build my own mythical beast, one with fidgeting capabilities. So I built this spiky-haired freak. I snapped these two pieces together and instantly fell in love. You can push it back and forth. It also bends in all directions. Very flexible stuff. Makes for a very fidgetable spiky hairdo. And if his face is giving you anxiety, you could always just shave his head and continue fidgeting in peace. I then snapped a couple pieces together and made this. I'm not sure what it is, I just invented it, but it looks very futuristic. Kinda looks like Magnemite, the Pokemon. Or maybe a satellite dish. Huh? Don't forget to leave a like! There's a lot it can do. You're really getting bang for your buck with this one. It can do the wave, it can do a little Irish jig, and, and that's about it. I guess I should take this time to address the elephant in the room. This is Dumbo. 
or at least my recreation of Dumbo the Elephant in Lego. <coughs> He's got giant elephant ears, googly eyes, a makeshift trunk, and unlike other elephants, he actually doesn't walk. He prefers to fly gracefully, flapping his ears in the wind. Take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship on this build. But that's enough about the $1 fidgets. That's not what you guys came to see. What you deserve is ultra-satisfying LEGO fidget toys. Oh wait, what's going on? Looks like I just got a raise. I showed you the budget version of this one earlier in the video. This is the big brother to that little chump change. And if that's not enough cash to buy your like and subscription, I hope you're willing to reconsider now. These are some more infinity cubes. You guys loved the last infinity cube I made, so I figured I'd make a couple more. These are a little different than the original cube I made, but they do still relieve an infinite amount of stress. If infinity cubes aren't your cup of tea, then maybe this cube will do the trick. It's kinda like a slinky. The closest you can get to a slinky in Lego form. My 100 IQ clearly wasn't enough to invent this. I followed a tutorial on how to build a magma cube. You can make it jump up and down, you can click it back and forth. I wouldn't suggest bringing this one out in public though because it's pretty loud and obnoxious. That's what I like about it though. This next one gets a little bit gruesome. You need to find two LEGO minifigure volunteers to dismember. I just need their upper half today, so I'm gonna discard the rest. I have this little mechanism. How do you say macabre? Is that how you say it? Macabre. Macabre. It turns into this macabre masterpiece. Oh my yes, god! Sir. I call it the Spinning Screamer. Ah! This is hands down the best fidget spinner I've ever made out of Lego so far. I even prefer it over an actual fidget spinner. And if that didn't blow your mind, this sure will. I call this the Sacred Seesaw of Satisfaction. Oh! It looks deceivingly simple, kinda like me. It actually is very simple to make. In fact, you can probably tell how to make it just by taking one look at it. Wow. There's a nice click when you snap it back and forth. Personally, I kinda like the loud snaps. It tends to be a conversation starter. If pain and disappointment is what satisfies you, say hello to the thumb chucks. These are not for your average fidgeter. If that's you, I suggest you take a seat and stick to the sacred seesaw. Every time I use this one, it feels like I'm left with bloody knuckles. They're not actually bleeding, it's just how it feels. It's a different kind of satisfying. My cats also seem particularly interested in this one. So if you want to spend some quality time with your cat while getting your fidgeting hours in, then maybe this is the fidget for you. If you're a rainbow and butterflies kind of freak, I've got just the thing for you. This is about as simple as you can get with fidget toys. I call it the worm. I tried making it rainbow themed, but I ran out of colors and I didn't care enough to fix it. If that bothers you, then go ahead. Have your panic attack. And when you've composed yourself, you can appreciate this next fidget. I clipped together a bunch of 1x6 plates. Doesn't take a genius to build this one. You can bend it back and forth. Just avoid the spikes on the corners. You can also spin it around like a hula hoop. This is pretty fun. And once you're done for the day, you can use it for fashion purposes as well. Let me know what your favorite fidget was. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. And don't forget to check out Dragon City. Link is in the description.